Hi everybody, this is Keith and today we're going to talk about how to get a Bitcoin miner running off of Wi-Fi. But before we get started, look at these Bitcoin prices. Not just Bitcoin, but all the other cryptocurrencies. Look at all this green. Bitcoin, Ethereum, <coughs> uh, Monero. Let's see what this graph looks like. Um, let's see. Some people say the prices should start ri rising by the end of this month. Uh, towards the mid of October, we should start seeing some changes due to the uh, Bitcoin ETF. And I believe in November, uh, that's when they have something going on called, um, I think it's called Backed. They're supposed to be releasing something or at least having more information on something on that um, sometime in November. I don't know exactly the date, but it looks like... Uh, Bitcoin is back on the rise again. And of course, if Bitcoin goes up, you know, uh, the other cryptocurrencies follow. So, so uh, it might go back down. Some say it might go back down. So if you think it's going to go back down, now is probably a good time to sell. Um, so you can catch it when it drops and, you know, when it, it'll eventually it'll go back up. But anyways... For the purpose of this video, <coughs> I'm going to talk about how to run a Bitcoin miner off of Wi-Fi or an ant miner off of Wi-Fi. So before you get started, uh, you will need to purchase this Wi-Fi range extender. Um, of course, I haven't tried it with any other Wi-Fi extenders, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to talk about this Wi-Fi extender. So I purchased this Wi-Fi extender off of, wi uh, off of Amazon. Um, I got it. Um, you plug it into the wall, and under it, there's a uh, Ethernet Ethernet port. So here is, is where you would c connect your Cat5 cable. So let's see. Um, <coughs> so I have, of course, I have the Bitcoin miner connected into another outlet, and then I have this connected into an another separate outlet, and then I have the uh, Cat5 cable running from the Bitcoin miner to the bottom of this Wi-Fi extender. Um, once you connect to it, then you will connect. First, you would have to broadcast a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot from this Wi-Fi extender. So to do that, once it turns on, you just hold down this button right here in the middle and it'll start flashing and it'll create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Once you create a Wi-Fi hotspot, you connect to that hotspot and then if you go to either this address this URL or even the IP address both of them works it will take you to a login screen um, and then you log in and then you'll get to this screen once you get to this screen um, you switch the modes to range extender not access point but range extender uh, once you connect to that then you click wireless connect to a network and you connect you while well, you do the wireless scanner which will find a wi-fi network um so like i told you in my previous video that i'm at a hotel so i connect it to the hotel that i'm at and you know i, I got no security um and then once i connected to it then of course i was able to get my laptop connected to that exact same wi-fi so if you go here, this is the name of it right here. Uh, and then I connect it to it, which is how I'm able to connect to this uh, Wi-Fi extender. Because if you go to just this without being connected, then it's going to take you to the actual website. It's probably going to say, oops, you're not connected or something like that. <coughs> but um, so I was able to connect to it. And then once you connect to it, if you go to your status page, it's going to say internet, router, Wi-Fi extender, clients. For some reason, I mean, there was a time where it actually showed my ant miner connected to this, but I don't really know exactly how I was able to get that to work. But um, it doesn't show 
the ant miner. I don't know why. You know, I might have did something wrong, but it is connected. So once you have it set, once you change the modes to range extender, and you you know you connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot, then it'll, it'll you know, and this says internet, then connect it, then you should be good to go. As you can see here, um, you know, of course it says my worker is online and is currently, uh, you know, hashing bitcoins at the moment. Um, let's see what else. Make sure I didn't leave anything out. So yeah, like I said before, it's not showing my ant miner as connected, but it is connected. Uh, just make sure you have the default settings for all of this. This says auto. This says obtain automatically. Uh, but also, you can connect to it as well. Uh, some, you know, I, I connect to it just in case when it goes down. I'm able to, like, when the Wi-Fi goes down, I'm able to, you know, I can kind of only assume that the Bitcoin miners got disconnected as well. So this gives me some kind of notification. Like, if this gets disconnected. It gives me some type of notifications that my Bitcoin miner might be going offline as well. So normally if that happens, I just unplug the uh, Bitcoin miner and I plug it back in. Because I don't know why, but I guess maybe uh, it's probably too hot because it's around a Bitcoin miner. I could be wrong because I do have it in a room in a hotel. So uh, sometimes when you connect to this, you might not be able to connect. Or if you do connect, it'll say disconnected. It'll say internet status disconnected. So just unplug it, plug it back in. And since you set it to connect to that Wi-Fi, it will automatically search for that same hotspot and connect to it. So you don't have to do that again. Um, so once you connect it, you got to give it, it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, start showing right away on the, uh, I don't know whatever service that you guys choose to use, but I'm using slush pool. So right when you connect, it's not going to automatically, you know, say, you know, the terra hash, it's not going to automatically update. You got to give it some time. So just give it about, I'll say about 10, 20, 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. To start seeing some numbers uh, so check on it in about 10 20 30 minutes but if you see the red flash of light then you might have done something wrong but if you don't see the red flash of light then you could uh, just wait 10 20 30 minutes and once you start seeing numbers then that means you know you're successfully connected but it's not gonna show you know 10 20 30 40 terahashes you know, right when you plug it up, it starts off at giga hash and then it works its way up to tera hash. So it's going to take about um, an hour and 30 minutes for you to get your, to your max speed. So sometimes that might take some time. Um, so sometimes that's how that works. But I mean, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to comment below this video. Also, please, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying my best to try to make more helpful videos about uh, Bitcoin or any other services out there that will help out with Bitcoin. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.